Dr. Nasali is full of life and her story is one of a woman who has learned much and wants others to learn from her. For starters, she is a single mother of four children aged between 25 and 35. Society stigmatizes single motherhood and, and many women who are single mothers feel that maybe they have failed in living in stable homes. She has drawn strength from her experience after a marriage that did not work out instead of allowing it to beat her down. In failure, you identify the lesson learned. What is it that made you get to that point? Because in a relationship, you too would have contributed to the breakdown of that relationship. Own that and say, I have made this mistake but this is what I have learned, and I'm willing to move on. There is no doubt that she takes good care of herself. She feels that women give too little attention to their bodies. The first investment in any development is the human being, and that person is you. And therefore, if you're whole and you, and you feel good about yourself, you'll be able to be good to others. She also feels that many women live in fear, afraid to fail and afraid to step out of their comfort zones to better themselves. In her opinion, that makes them remain stagnant. I guess you get uh, cushioned by the circumstances you live in, but don't let them define you. I always tell people, I was born and raised in Waisi, and people ex are very shocked. I say, you know, you, you, you do not fit the stereotype. So it is up to you to break the stereotype, to believe in yourself. Dr. Nasali says she sets herself one goal a year, faces the hurdle that comes with achieving it, the criticism and all else, but strives to see it through. She would like to see more people focus on their goals. The moment that you're comfortable with yourself and say this is enough for you, that's what the world will give you because that's what you've asked for. The lawyer has learned that many times the worst experience can present the best opportunity. I didn't get married to get divorced. It hurt. But because of that, I, I, it unleashed, it brought out who I am and I be, became a go-getter. She comes from a family that is not very well read. My biggest achievement, therefore, has been to get my PhD because then my family now believes in the power of education. Dr. Nasali has great belief in equality, and that is a key value she has passed on to her children. She believes that when people treat others as they would like to be treated, it fosters harmony. I believe that it is important to respect uh, diversity, and therefore it is important to withhold judgment, particularly against those who differ from you. She was born and raised in Bwaise, did her O-level at Mount St. Mary's College in Amagunga, and went to Gayaza High School for A-level. It is important at an early age to ensure that we groom children to appreciate the value of basic good manners. She graduated with a law degree from Macquarie University, got married shortly after, and settled down as a housewife for 10 years. I gave it also my best shot, and then unfortunately it didn't happen the way that I had dreamt about it. I went back to school, and I did my master's in law. She was about 32 years old then. Dr. Nasali traveled to the UK for her master's degree in development, and this armed her with a competitive edge when she returned to Uganda. She later took over the restructuring of the legal aid clinic at the Law Development Center. And that's how I was able to bring that new thinking into FIDA at that point in time. And I, I vied for the chairperson. I just stood up and said, I want to be the chair. She said, are you crazy? I said, no, I can't be. This is what I bring on the table. Trust me. And they did. So I thank them for that. She knows that to be an effective leader, one must really want to lead. She blames the society for where things go wrong in Uganda, saying that they allow their leaders to get away with so much. The political apathy. A majority of people you talk to said, ah, I don't vote. I don't have time for that nonsense. Nothing will change. We are too pessimistic. She studied governance for her PhD and is a lecturer at Macquarie University. She is not blind to the student and lecturer's strikes and the lack of equipment. I think it is 
important to allocate uh, blame where it falls. I think education is not a priority to the government. Dr. Nasali is the founding executive director of International Governance Alliance, an organization that promotes good governance. We wanted a neutral space where thinkers could continue to make a contribution without being burdened with forming organizations. She is also affiliated to the Namagerika Foundation. She does not agree with the perceived notion that culture is what is keeping Uganda underdeveloped and permitting the violation of women's rights. Violence against women is not cultural. It is simply bad manners. It is use of one's power in a negative way because you know you can get away with it. This October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Dr. Nasali is urging people not to kill the will to live of those who have cancer. Josephine Karunji, NTV.